Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Raisa Lopez from Channel Sales and Marketing. We are very excited to have you with us today as we present two separate IAG enhancements, one that is for rebate processing and our other um, module is for salesperson commissions processing. Both of these are certified and fulfilled by Acumatica, so you can find pricing on the Acumatica price list. And they are also always current. Okay, before we get started, just a little bit about us in case we haven't worked together. We have over 30 years experience in ERP and ISV modules. We have successfully developed 17 enhancements for Acumatica, 10 of which are certified. And two of our modules were acquired by Acumatica. That was Acumatica's POS and AccuGmail. We also partner with over 100 different Acumatica VARs worldwide, and we offer marketing support to them with, and, and support with demos and discoveries. So if you, if you need any of that, please reach out to us. And we also have a thousand customer, over a thousand clients that we support worldwide with our ISV products and with custom programming. And we are an, a gold Acumatica partner. We want to welcome you to check out our website where you will find tons of reviews from customers and partners as well. Okay, before I pass you over to Alec, I do want to invite you to type your questions in at any time and we will we will get back get to them at the end of the call. Okay, with that being said, Alec, I will turn it over to you and I'll stop sharing my screen. Thank you, Raisa. And I guess I'm going to share my screen here. And I, I believe, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a PowerPoint presentation that is going to go over the functionality in the product and start with the accurate commission. And, and I'm, Grace, I'm getting a message that I cannot share my screen. Have you released this screen as the? Yes. Let me see. Try it again. Better? There you go. Perfect. Great. Great. Thank you. And my apologies for the hiccup there. So basically, we publish enhancements for Acumatica. And here we're going to look at the Acu rebate and Acu container. And uh, these are the list of some of our other enhancements. So, what Acu Commission does, it has methods for calculating commission. So, one of the methods is you create commission plans, and commission plans allow you to enter uh, the, the, which salespersons would get commission based on that plan. Uh, which items are eligible, which customers are eligible, and what's the method for that commission plan to work? Is it based on gross profit, percent of sales, flat amount, and so forth? So you could set up a commission so it only calculates commission uh, based on the plans that set up for the customers. You could set up a commission so it checks the customer record as the primary default uh, source, and then goes through other commission plans that are not necessarily linked to the customer, but they're available in the system. This could be used, for example, tires, if you have one thing, or batteries, or you have another plan. But for general accessories, consumables, you just want a gen general, uh, you know. So if the tires and batteries are customers are specific, you could use this to approach and anything else, just enter some company-wide commission percentages, that would work. And of course, you could set it up so no commission is used and you enter the percentages at the sales order. So part of it, so as I mentioned, my commission plan will let you uh, set up commission plans that are for specific item, class of item or all items, specific customer, customer classes or all items. We could pay multiple salesperson and that multiple salesperson receiving commission could be a split of one commission or each salesperson can have its own uh, percentage. We work with the project accounting module, so you can create project 
commissioning invoices, commissionable invoices. Now, one of the nice things about what we do, when we create, when you create a sales order, we load into that sales order, the sales persons that would get commissioned by item, and we show that on the sales order, SO invoice, and even after it's been released as an AR invoice, and let you make changes to it. So something happened and you need to come back to this invoice at month and make changes, you can do that. Commissions could be based on net sales gross profit, could be based on paid invoices, could be based on sales for a period. And of course, we let you create an AP bill for the earned commission amount. So this is where in the commission customer record, we let you link a commission plan or you can have one or multiple. This year, we're looking at a commission plan scheme. So commission plan five, as we see here, uh, you know, there's two drop downs for the customer and item. And here we're seeing the drop down for customer item type. So this commission plan five could be for all items, a specific item class or a specific item class classes. And, and the tab here will let you, if you selected item class or item price class, enter the item class or price classes that it applies to. Similarly, if this commission plan is uh, you know, based on customer type, customer class, or uh, you can basically select this drop down here and the tab would let you enter the a specific customers or a specific customer classes uh, or that, that that plan applies to. Now, regardless of what the eligibility is as far as items and customers for this commission plan, you would tell us what the commission method is. Is it percent of the net sales, is it percent of gross profit? Is it a fixed amount per unit? Is it a flat amount for that line item? And is, or is it a quantity base? One to five unit this commission or uh, under $200 this commission and so forth. Commissions have starting and effective dates. As I mentioned, you can have splits. So if you entered more than one salesperson and check the box split, uh, the system would give this customer, this salesperson 40 and let you define the percentage for all the others. If you uncheck this and have multiple salespersons, you can enter the commission percent for each. So you can have a situation where when a sales is made, the main salesperson gets 5%, the road salesperson gets 2%, the house salesperson one, the uh, sales manager gets 2%. Or uh, the commission for this line item is 8 and one person gets 20% of it, 115 and 130, like splitting the thing. So again, very flexible. Our goal has been to give you flexibility to have as many of these commission plans as you want. And by customer, you tell it what eligible commission plans, uh, you know, should be checked. And, uh, and that basically would determine, you know, what commission would be paid on that line item. Here we're seeing a commission plan, which is based on sales in the month, and it's gonna show you the transaction process to determine if they meet the $50,000 limit for the month to move to the next year, or they meet the $8,000 limit and so forth. So here we're looking at a sales order, and a sales order in this case has one salesperson but notice that that plan uh, has a split. There's two, two salesperson that, but it's, it, that's uh, commission plan eight is paid commission two. So that's basically uh, is shown here. So that's eight is the primary salesperson, the split salesperson are these two. Notice that the amounts are displayed here as a commission rate, commission amount, and could be modified as needed. And as I mentioned, this information is copied to the invoice and you can make changes at the invoice level for that transaction. So uh, if during the sales order entry or invoicing, you, you need to uh, offer an additional discount to that customer and you're telling the salesperson your commission would be adjusted, you could come to the sales order and invoice transaction and manually change that commission amount. Again, this is another example that this salesperson one is the primary, but three salespeople are getting uh, additional salesperson for that items. And again, because different items could be part of different commission plans, you can have an order that on one line 
uh, in addition to this primary salesperson, these two salespersons get commission, and on a different line, three other salespersons get commission. Of course, as I mentioned, that's also carried to the invoicing after the invoice has been released. You could still bring up in this invoice, these are the three salespersons. You can modify any one of the lines and change the commission person. Uh, we create an AP invoice. So the, uh, if, if that commission amount is uh, due, and basically the time you will have a difference between commission amount earned and due is if you're paying commission based on paid invoices. So an in, uh, commission could be earned on a transaction, but not due until the customer pays it. But once that happens, when you click process, we'll create, go ahead and create the AP bill for you. Uh, commission calculation. So, so this is the commission processing. And I can bring up the screen and just show you some of the information that we've been reviewing. So this is the commission plan, a typical commission plan. Commission plan 60. Uh, the primary salesperson is this salesperson. Uh, it's for uh, customers. We send specific customers. So we will enter the one or many customers here. Now, if I said it's based on customer price class, then that would change and let me select customer price classes and tell it what customer plus classes, this is for customer class, but retail customer and so forth. So I'm entering the eligibility, the next group here, uh, you know, so maybe it just belongs to these two. Same thing with item, what items does this commission plan, uh, you know, apply to. So you can have, again, the different commission plans for batteries, for tires, uh, for drywalls, and on and on and and you know and of course that could be even for different type of customers for drywalls and batteries small tire shops we could have a different uh, percentage than a, a repair shop uh, as i mentioned uh, you could have uh, one salesperson multiple salesperson you can enter additional salespersons here and you can tell it whether it's in split so this case, there's a 10% commission to be paid as part of this commission plan. I can give that 10% to this primary salesperson and enter additional salespersons with their percentages, or I could check this box, split, and basically says that 10% is gonna be divided between uh, J and few other salespersons. In this case, Joshua getting 10% of it, so notice that that changes to 90%. Theo getting another 25% of it. So that 10% is divided by giving 65% of it to J and 10 and 25 to these two, where again, if I uncheck that, then he gets his 10%, Joshua gets 2%, and Theo gets 1%. So very flexible. So the idea is that you're making this flexible commission plan, each one with their method, and you're linking those to the customers so the customer can have multiple commission plans here, that salesperson, this customer for that location, that's the salesperson, and you can enter the commission plans that are eligible and enter a priority. So if you enter five different commission plans, you're saying go first check this plan, then this, and then that. So basically you can have a catch-all commission plan that covers all the batteries, but then the customers that have commission plan for a specific class of batteries, maybe for boats or, uh, or bicycles, they can have their own plan entered with a higher priority than the other. Of course, all of that gets copied to the sales order. So when you're entering a sales order, uh, all of that information is used here. So let's go and see if we have a sales order that we can bring up and look at. So you can see this uh, order has three items, but if I click on commission tab, I will see the items that you know it, it's here and i will see for each one of those you know the split the multiple salespersons if i want to make a change to the amount earned additional so i can edit the commission amount and say you know what we're going to pay him 15 dollars for this not 25 dollars so again 
commission plans with flexibility to define the customer class uh, ability to tell it that only check the commission plans that are defined for the customer or use those as priority then go to all the commission plans that are in the system for that item and find it uh, then uh, the setting that says you're going to enter the sales persons on each transaction and uh, it's available both from project module and as far as the sales order module for uh, commission processing and and as we come back to our commission module here, menu, you would see that edit register lets you make changes to the uh, invoices even after the invoice has been processed. Uh, you can still process them and pay commission on those. So this is an invoice that has been released, but you still have the ability to make changes to it and uh, for the specific uh, commission about amount or the commission amount and so forth. And change it to be anything that you want. So if you're just changing the commission for that line to 121, you can do that. And it would change the commission and that's what would be included in the payment. So very flexible. Uh, giving uh, the abilities to uh, have additional payment methods for processing commissions, having as many commission plans you, you need defined for different type of items and different type of businesses, different type of customers. So that's a quick overview of the commission processing. Uh, I want to move to rebates and just kind of go over the rebates enhancement the same way. So rebate is good because what it does, it gives you the ability to create rebate programs. So here we're looking at rebate program one. A rebate could be for vendors. So you basically, uh, you're saying through this date, if you sell if you sell a product, you're gonna charge back the vendor a rebate amount. Or it could be for a customer, that it was the customer buy something, you're gonna give them a rebate in form of a credit, or it could be both. So this is where you see a rebate being for both both you're going to charge back the vendor for the rebate that you earn and paying the customer a rebate for what rebate the customers earn or doing both. So that's this setting here. Notice that uh, you have a date range, you have a percentage, uh, and then the, you have a break amount from this quantity to this quantity. The rebate is this amount, and if it exceeds 10 amount, it goes to a different rebate amount. Rebates could be for an item or a class of items. So again, here, you can have a different rebate for TVs versus for coffee makers if you're selling things to hotel. So a rebate could be tied to a class of item or individual item. The same, same thing for a customer, what customer, all customers. So rebate worksheet. So as, as pro transactions are processed in Acumatica, the users are not aware that they're processing uh, rebate-based transactions. So they just process their transactions. And what happens, system in the background checks and the fact that there is a re eligible rebate program, it loads it into this rebate worksheet. Just like a, a you know, commission editor register, we give you the ability to come here and modify the amounts before you finalize it. So for whatever reason you're saying, you know what, that wasn't in a rebate earning transaction on the vendor side or at the customer side. You can come here and modify that rebate amount that the system has calculated. And again, depending on whether it's the vendor or the AP side, whether you're giving credit to the customer or charging the vendor back, those transactions are displayed here. Now you could do the final checking at the rebate worksheet screen, which is one by one. Or you could do it here where on the one screen for the enter date trend, you will see it and you'll be making the changes on this screen before you process them. Processing basically either from the worksheet program or from this process transactions does the same thing where you create a credit memo for the customer or create a charge back to the vendor. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly we get out of one system that has the commission processing, log into a rebate system. And of course, I've, I can answer any question you have while 
I'm bringing up the other system that has the rebate. Okay, there's a question that says, can we assign a vendor as a salesperson? Use case is for businesses that use sales agencies instead of salespeople. Sure, you know, we have, we've had people use buying groups and, you know, and then the, the, whether the commission or the rebate could be processed for that buying group. And it actually on the rebates, there's an option for the buying group. As I bring up a rebate transaction, you will see that that rebate, you know, is for a buying group, not an individual customer. So in both cases, you know, salespersons could be outside reps that like getting commission because we allow you to have as many salespersons that you want each with their own different percentages. So you could easily at the transaction level add that additional person if, if an outside rep is supposed to get uh, some money for that transaction or uh, as part of the you know commission processing settings. And this is as soon as this comes up, I'll bring up the rebate screen where we'll see that. Okay, Alec, and just to clarify, the question was regarding commissions. Yeah, yeah, commission could be the same thing. Yeah, commission could very easily because we create the AP bill as well. So AP bill created for that salesperson would be what that outside rep would be getting or that buying group would be getting. And the percentage that they get is could be based on, you know, percent of the sales or the flat amount. So the two said the in-house salesperson could be getting a commission based on percent of the selling price, the outside rep based on the volume for the month. And that's the beauty of a lot of these things because they're very flexible where you can use it for one type of things or the other. So here we're looking at a rebate program, a rebate program 36. It's from this date to this date. Of course, that's a six plus, we're gonna change the date. And it's based on a percentage or a flat amount or an invoice, the amount of the invoice. It could be for a stock item or a class of item or all item. So a rebate could be for all TVs or all bus or light switches or for TVs or batteries or specific items that you're entering. Then similarly it could be for parent customer. That's where very often uh, customers belong to a buying group and they will tell us that the rebate is paid to the buying group for purchases of all the customers that belong to that buying group. So we set up a parent account as being the buying group and the rebate is generated for the, uh, the buying group, that scenario. But it could be based on customers or class of customers. And again, it could be for just paying the customers rebate, charging the vendor back or both. On both. Of course, if you're charging a different uh, percentage, uh, if you're charging the vendor a different percentage of what you're giving the customer, you will just have two different rebate amounts. One set up with a AR to give the credit back to the customer, and one set up with AB to charge the vendor back. So both of them could co coexist, and we're under one rebate program. You basically are charging the vendor and the other. Past that, the transactions are is the same. You're basically processing a transaction where the person does not know anything about that this is a rebate paying transaction, but the system will track it and show it in here. And the idea here is you could come in here and make changes to the transaction before it's finalized, before, you know. So you could say that that's the customer uh, and then this is the vendor and this is the item. And, and so basically system would, as you process it, would load it in here, giving you the ability to make changes. Now, when you're creating a rebate transaction uh, at the end of the month for the vendor or customer, you can define whether you want to create 
uh, a rebate uh, credit to the uh, by each sales order invoice or by each sales order line. So if a sales order has some TVs on it and some coffee maker, do you want to create a chargeback to the vendor for the TV line and the invoice line to that vendor? customer or one for the customer the same thing on the ap side so we let you depending on the relationship that you have with the customer or the vendor just send one credit to the customer at the end of the month for all the transaction or one for each sales order that you process or one for each sales order line similarly every vendor chargeback is uh, set by you so you want to send that vendor just one a charge back for the entire amount or a charge back for each sales order that you process or a charge back for each line item on the sales order. So it's very flexible in what allows you to do. There are also reports available which would show you profitability taking into account rebate or so some of these reports are available. So if you you know if you want to see what your profitability is, taking into account that rebate that you're going to get in the form of a chargeback from the vendor or paying the customer or both on your transactions that you process, you could print this report and it would show that information to you. So here I'm going to enter an item and I'm just going to enter that compute zero one to see the behavior of the system where you can enter a quantity of two. And then basically what would you know, system do, save it. and create shipment. So in, none, in, in this process, you do not, you know, see, and users do not see anything about, you know, the preference. Now in our roadmap, we have that to add a tab to the sales order entry that shows the eligible items, what the rebates are, and the total on the, on the you know, uh, for the orders show the rebate amount on the total tab of the order. That's a customization that we've done for a few customers, but we have not brought it as, as part of the package. That's what we are, it's on our roadmap for 2024. So we're going to release this and that transaction now would basically want released. So that would be trapped, tracked as a transaction here, which you could just bring up and, and basically modify for that customer as a transaction that you know you processed. So depending on the uh, settings. A uh, rebate could be set as something that you basically process by period. So if, if there's some uh, amounts that are set up to be based on sales activities for the month, you set that up so uh, a process is ran to look at the activity for the entire month. So this, these are some of the settings. Notice that it could also be set up as an automated job. So go ahead and run it. And, uh, so run the uh, rebate for us. So that's what I was planning on covering. If there's any questions, I can answer. Thank you, Alec. Looks like no other questions at the time. Yeah, thank you all for attending. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.